All right, so today I'm gonna talk through the ultimate box leader, Vegeta, the blue leader uh, for the ultimate box since every color basically got a leader. Zeno, uh, Kale, or Kefla, Jiren, etc., etc. Everybody got a color, and this one is blue. I definitely wanted to make this video pretty. Um, uh, pretty immediately, but even before the ultimate box comes out, and talk through this time in today's 10 minute shenanigans. And I'm not going to cover everything. There's a lot to this leader, and I'm, I can't wait for people who are better than me to make start making decks for this uh, and see what kind of stuff comes out of it. But I'm going to talk through a few different things, uh, just over uh, an overview and a couple a couple of different types of tech that you may or may not have thought of, um, and maybe might be pretty good and also I, I have a lot of different deck lists to come out with i have at least three or four backed up uh as far as videos go and as well as play testing so i'll get those out and i'll start working on uh some ultimate box and and uh meta leaders because i know people want to see that if you want to know if you want to see meta deck lists just check out the regionals i mean it's not very hard to to take a look at take that one play test it and then change what you want i mean that's that's basically what you need to do anyway so for this one, oh, also join the Discord. I put uh, deck list there and, and as well as uh, other people do all the time. It's in the description. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, if you didn't know, again, this is a, a blue leader. Uh, he has Warrior, Warrior Universe 7. If you didn't know already, uh, that treats all Universe 7 as if they had no specified cause. So you can play three blue and then pay uh, for Burst Attack Gohan, for instance, since he is a Universe 7 for three red and not pay that specified cost. It's basically colorless very very awesome still has been awesome uh i don't think any anybody has downplayed that one so this is pretty unique as far as the unawakened side which is good that we need more of those especially if you're paying 100 bucks for this leader um if you if you uh attack a leader card and there is a universe 7 in your energy area you do draw one and then this gains 5k for the turn so obviously it's going to be really good to get that card advantage uh sucks that you have to uh, attack a leader card but that's just kind of the standard now but if you do have a Universe 7 in your energy area, which is pretty much the first time this has ever been done, which is good. I love good design. Um, it's, a good, it's a good thing. Plus, it, it goes in correlation with the unspecified cost. This is a flip 2 for active. Really, really fitting for a blue leader. And then when this card attacks, you may uh, you, you uh, attack. Or, wow. When you... <laughs> okay, let's start over. So he still has a Universe 7, uh, Warrior Universe 7. The permanent is that if you have three or more Universe 7 in your energy area, it gains 5k, which is good, 20k. Permanent, as long as you have it in there, usually it's not going to get that far, though. Uh, when you attack, you draw one card, and then you may choose up to one of your energy. You don't have to if you don't want to, and then add it to your hand. If you choose to add a card from your energy area, you choose one of uh, your cards in your hand and add it to your energy area. So... Uh, shout out to Josh for not only the uh, the, the mass saying stuff I'm going to be going over, and as well as the name toolbox. But if you <laughs> if you want to coin the term, it got it from me. I got it from him. So I'm just going to name it that. This is the Vegeta toolbox leader, basically, because what you do is use an energy. Um, for instance, if you were going to use a energy boosted Boo to uh, draw, and then after you attack with him, you draw a card and then uh, take one energy and then switch it out for a red or something else to do that. So let's kind of go through all of the uh, kind of ideas and in instances that you would do that with. All right, so here we are on untap, and uh, let's talk through the Universe 7 stuff for example, what you have access to. So obviously you have uh, the five or more uh, or a five or less life super combo, of, co of course, and you have uh, like the new burst attack Gohan if you have four or less and draw two, if that's critical. You have access to the um, Beerus all colorless, etc., etc., especially the all at all costs Vegeta in which you take two life, gains triple strike, you KO something, and gains 3k energy uh, for the each energy or 3k power for each energy that you have. Very, very similar to the. Um, the uh, Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution um, Vegeta leader. So very, very cool that they kept that thematic. So let's talk through basically uh, real quick since we have it like this. So again, the Awakened side, uh, let's say you are Awakened and then you go ahead and swing on over uh, after, let's say, you put down a Cobb, all right? If you do this and um, again, let's say you have something that you don't need um, and or yeah, something you don't need in your hand and you wanted to get the super combo, you can basically return that to your hand, um, put down, let's say, the Sun Gohan, 
this guy has well yeah three or more now he has 5k and then you can uh, super combo and draw right after that that's just one instance so uh, again this is one of those things of uh, being a toolbox and uh, for instance again if you had let's say I don't know why it did that I don't know why it's doing that <laughs> the same thing for this guy you had Kappa out on the field you used uh, this man for this man uh, you search the top three you attack you return this man out here uh, you charge I don't know let's say this trunks oh actually let's, let's switch that let's do this if you are in this instance there you go that's a lot better you swing take it put it put it back uh, and then chain attack right into Zeno that is in your hand so just another example in which what you can do uh, to do that because you would be evolving I know I had that all mixed up but you, you get the point um, so the, again you have that you have access to the universe 7 um, uh, Gohan because your leader card is blue and then you can have all, all the three costs or less which you might have w with this leader I mean if you want to take it in that direction and just play it uh, right after it evolves that's a thing and uh, speaking of all the leader stuff again you have access to unyielding trunks uh, sensu bean because you are gonna be running blue uh, uh, legendary flute etc etc especially since you have uh, the master Roshi in which you can take it put a counter in and then um, Legendary, legendary fluid it back right after draw a card and use it as a counter next round uh, very very strong hopefully people are doing that because that's what I've been doing so you know same thing for uh, uh, raging spirits on Gohan if you haven't been doing that and and you haven't been fluting back this man after he attacks you've been doing it wrong because you should have especially in Super Saiyan 3 builds um, this man in your hand pretty much all the time uh, anyway, and you have access to the new Vegito in which uh, if this guy is in rest mode it gains barrier and they can't attack your leader card Which is just so stupid, but I love it and Etc, uh, etc. Et Another thing is that uh, the overrealm play for this is pretty cool. So if, if for instance you had um, a Mira and you had another overrealm card and you pay one or this this one right here since this is a black energy you don't really want the black energy there since you need like red energy or whatever it may be if you're playing off color or whatever uh, you turn it to your hand and then now the next round you have another um, overrealm card uh, you can't do it again as far as the overrealm that's on the field but again another uh, another idea so let's kind of talk through uh, the other thing as far as this goes so uh, I mean if you're playing for some reason uh, the uh, furries package again you can just put this in in your energy area and then later on when you do have the other two pieces uh, or whatever it may be you can play it right after it kind of helps you protect uh, your pieces later on or until later on that you, that you need them so that's just for a thought this is kind of like a protection area now uh, again there's a lot of different things uh, but that is just the gist when it comes down to a quote-unquote toolboxing or quote-unquote uh, energy manipulation or fun stuff whatever you want to call it um, but when it comes down to um, the synergy between this card or this leader card between between the, this leader card and as well as um, the ultimate box so let's let's talk through that if for instance um, the original idea when it came to um, the mass saiyan so the, for this mass saiyan right here he is a overrun for three and you pay one and then right after that, if you replace an energy, it says here, if you placed uh, a card in your energy area uh, during this turn, you have less energy than your opponent. You choose one of your opponent's energy and send it to your warp. So let's say it, this was originally this was originally for the Super Saiyan 3 leader. It's just one of those counters for it. Uh, so, I mean, I think Bandai did that on purpose. And honestly, you can run four of these bad boys, skip charge, and then keep doing it for the Super Saiyan 3 and just <laughs> do that. I mean, you can do that to any leader. So if you weren't playing super saiyan 3 right and uh someone just had one open and it was uh you have three uh three whatchamacallit <laughs> three energy there you go and you have one tapped for this mass saiyan by that time you should have three in your drop right uh by that time you should have intensify power drugs saying kaba etc etc to to self-awaken by that time you will be you will be awakened so what if i told you that you did put this energy at the beginning of the turn um, and as well as uh, just in general just to use it so you did use it for that and then you swing you take the energy 
And then right after that, because this is an activate main, you can activate it. And now this man, I can't do it, is now into warp. Now they have no active energy. Unless they're running something like Super Saiyan 4 Go Goku or Namekians uh, or whatever, now they can't counter. And now you can go off. So again, um, Unyielding Spirit Trunks, uh, Legendary Flute, all these other ones, uh, you can just kind of go in on them, especially if you are focusing on crit, like intensifying power drunks or whatever it may be. So think about that for a second. That is just crazy for me. Not only uh, denying them energy, which is a new thing, but also making plays in which if they only have one energy, you can do this at any point. It doesn't matter if they have five energy or four. If you wanted to go for a game, this man is a game ender because now if they only have one energy open or if you bait them out with uh, critical, whether it's like intensifying power trunks or this man with 20k, whatever. This is crazy. That is just a crazy, crazy, crazy thing. And uh, again, shout out to Josh. I <laughs> told you I would shout you out. But uh, that is that is pretty much it, guys. I, I mean, that's that's the only thing I really, 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 really want to talk about, other than the overview for this person or for this leader. And uh, I hope, I hope, I hope to make a really good deck out of this sort of combo um, and play test it and have some fun with it. Because honestly, this this looks like a lot of fun, and I think it's very, very much up there in the learning curve um, and skill intensive wise. Uh, and I'm very excited to see what comes out of it. Let me know what you think and uh, subscribe if you're new comment like dislike i know one of you is out there doing it and i'll see you in the next one later